Hello everyone. Welcome to mailserverguru.com. Today we will see how to configure anti-spamming system. Uh, we will configure this uh, anti-spamming server or anti-spamming system in front of our mail server. Uh, it will uh, scan and filter spam and virus. Then it will uh, deliver clean and virus free mail to our backend or original mail server from where we will get mail or we will see mail. Today we will use one of the best open source anti-spamming system named EFA or email filter appliance. I have been using this appliance for the last 12-13 uh, months and it's really awesome. It's based on open source um, softwares like Postfix, Mail Scanner. All are very good and it's performing very well. So let's first install the appliance then we will configure to filter email. First we have to download the uh, appliance from its official website. The main website is efaproject.org. There we can download as image for VMware server or for the Hyper-V. Here we can see the two image type, one for the VMware server and another for the Microsoft Hyper-V. We can, uh, if we use VMware server or VMware workstation, we can install the VMware OVF file. So I have downloaded the uh, package and I have extracted it to import the OVF. So I'm using here VMware ESXi server. So let's deploy the OVF template first. So here is the package and I have extracted it. Then the email filter appliance of VF open next I am naming it EFA dot mail server guru dot com next Select thin provision. VM network. Then finish. So OVF import complete. So let's select it and let's edit the settings. We are not assigning this much memory though we have uh, this much memory on the server so we uh, leave it as it is we can even uh, run this um, appliance with 2 GB RAM uh, that is okay so let's power it up so if we open console booting up so it's uh, giving us the console root and password this is the default user and password so after giving uh, root username and password this is the second screen start EFA first time configuration yes press enter to continue press enter to continue US international 
okay it's asking what is the host name of this machine EFA please enter the domain name mail server guru dot com this user will receive EFA related notification please enter the email address of an admin okay by at gmail.com please enter the email address of the postmaster same email address now please enter the IP address I'm going to put my email address 223 252 36 72 Submit mask two five five two five five two five five two four zero gateway two two three two five two thirty six seventy eight. We don't need recursive DNS here. Let's enter the primary DNS server address. Secondary DNS. Please enter the username you would like to have. This user will be granted SSH access to the system. This user will also be used to log on to the web interface. Okay, let's do admin password. complex password please make this password long strong please enter the password for the root user okay checking host type you seem to be running on VMware yes would you like to install open VM tools of course that will be nice. Is the host set to use the time? No. Please select the time zone the system is located in. Asia. Bangladesh. of information yes Ayana code lowercase this will be your server that actually received the mail this is the backend server IP before giving the mail server IP let's uh, see our scenario here uh, we should show this at first uh, our mail is coming from the internet and our EFA or the email filter appliance will receive our mail then it will deliver the mail to our backend mail server so here it is asking the backend mail server IP or the host name here so you are giving our backend server IP your organization's name mail server guru dot com mail server guru auto update yes that will be nice if the settings are correct please ok ok so now it is uh, configuring the whole system
is using uh, open source anti-spamming systems such as Razor or the CLAM antivirus, the mail scanner, Postfix. This is a very nice piece of software actually. During installation it shows the virus database is older than 7 days. It is actually the CLAM antivirus uh, database. So now it is uh, downloading the update actually. Now the update uh, complete. Now press enter to continue. I guess these are system update actually. So system update complete. Now it's asking to press enter again. For post fix, please answer all answers. Please enter Q to continue. And for name, state of province name, locality name, organization name. EFA dot L server Google dot com is actually generating this self signed certificate. it's asking again to press this is the final setting all settings applied and rebooting when you press enter ok fine now the system configuration is done and it's rebooting the system is booting again now the system rebooted and it's asking for the EFA login now our login user is admin and giving its password please choose an option log out from SSH shell reboot system hold system IP settings these are actually um, appliance different settings we can do from this uh, console but uh, to configure the system or to see the report or everything we have to log into the web console so we are firing EFA.mailservergroup.com Proceed to EFA.mailservergroup.com Showing us the mail watch login Let's log in here With the admin user and password this is the interface that means we have successfully uh, done installing the EFA on our next video we will configure the EFA and we will send mail and check the log and everything and we will see report here so bye for now thank you